The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, available in print and ebook format on Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and evil. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and evil. Missing by Mia Molson Z has garnered great reviews and even love and enjoys by Howard's celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forbes Riley, and many else. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Z, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Don't forget to take the Mike Widener Show at the end any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, make great gifts year-round. Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles. Also cool merchandise like T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. And don't forget to support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Widener Show.com. You can also buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com at the Mike Widener Show. You can check it out also on Glow FM. And make sure you give generously today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who's an actor, comedian, performer from Greece and co-worked with the biggest festivals um, in the area. We'll talk more about that. He studied acting at Stella Adler Academy in Los Angeles. Also did stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, New York City, Las Vegas, and performed with Def Fam, who uh, played at Hawaii Five-O and the winner of NBC's Last Comic Standing. And uh, this gentleman has been in Extreme Improv Revenge and Extreme Improv Extreme. We'll talk about that. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios from the other side of the pond, ladies and gentlemen, the multi-talented actor, comedian, and performer from Greece, Stavros Batras. Stavros, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me at your show. Well, it's great to have you on board, and you've got a really good future ahead. I could tell. So you're an actor, comedian, performer from Greece. You co-worked with the biggest festivals. You did study acting at Stellar Adler Academy in Los Angeles. You did San Economy in Los Angeles, New York City, Las Vegas. You performed with that fan who played at Hawaii Five O and the winner of NBC's Last Comic Standing. You also appear in Extreme Improv as well, too. We'll talk about that. And before getting all this stuff, Rosa, tell us how you first got started. Um, well, uh, as far as all these stand-up comedy shows, uh, unfortunately, um, they were done uh, virtually. Um, and also right now, I'm scheduling uh, with company about doing a meta show. That's mm-hmm. gonna be on the metaverse. Okay. I I think that it's the first uh, ever time that's gonna that something like that's gonna happen. So I'm just curious of how it's going to go. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk about how you first got started, going way back as well too. Like, um, you know, who's some of your favorite comedians and actors and everything like that? You know, growing up. 
Um, my I I don't have any favorite, you know, comedian because uh, stand up comedy in Greece uh, just starting to rise at the last um, four years, maybe something like that. Um, from actors, my idol is was Rebecca Kennedy. Uh, that played Esther at the uh, Law and Order. I really liked her. Um, and right now I'm working on a project with her, a movie, um, The Demons Within. Uh, also accepts uh, Rebecca Kennedy. Uh, this movie is also Vincent Ward, who's won an Oscar on The Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. And the director is uh, Jeff Davis. Hmm. Okay, that's rather interesting. And uh, how about some of the other movies and uh, plays uh, that you've uh, been in? Or even TV um, it's it's my first uh, movie. I mean, uh, globally, that's gonna be in global scale. Um, and I'm just uh, terrified by the fact that I'll be working with all these stars. Um, so, and also, it's my first time that I'll be in a movie. I mean, I've done stand-up comedy, I've co-worked with festivals, I've performed, I've hosted festivals, uh, but working with such big names is a whole different thing. Mm-hmm. And, and then how about some of the production you did uh, before you uh, made the big stage? Like, say, a community theater or even school plays or like a college or anything like that? Um, before that, uh, of course, I've joined uh, all my school plays. Um, as far as the theater is concerned, uh, I've not done any theater plays. Um, the only theater plays is just, uh, the monologues that I did, uh, for the school, you know, to, uh, pass the lessons Mm -hmm. and all the classes. Um, and I don't have any, uh, experience as far as acting is concerned more i'm more like i'm more experienced as far as the performing and the stand-up comedy is concerned Mm -hmm. and what prompted you into getting into uh comedy and acting what what prompted you into getting into comedy and acting um at first uh because i'm from a small city uh in greece um i was very uh scared to uh, get into stand-up comedy. Um, although from school, all my teachers said that uh, even you don't give, you know, uh, exams to study as a doctor or as a lawyer, uh, we're sure that you're going to be a good actor or uh, something with comedy. Um, I believed that, to be honest, uh, deep inside me but I was getting um, bullied mm. from other children because uh, they were like, um, oh, look, he's just, uh, he's, you know, just making other people laugh. He doesn't do something so special. Uh, it's not a big thing. Uh, he's silly uh, and like that. Mm. Uh, and also, I didn't have uh, enough support from my parents as far as my decision to get involved with uh, acting is concerned. Um, and that's the reason why for almost a year I've been doing, I was doing uh, sometimes three jobs to make ends meet and mm. in order to gather money to go to come to LA. Wow, it's interesting. We'll talk about your journey going from Greece to LA, studying at Stadler, Adler, and more. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. 
Also, time to give a special shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and Pamperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and Pamperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews. And Eve Levin and George by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 30 podcast platforms. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. For great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles, also T-shirts, Pop Sockets, Hoodies, and more, Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia. Check it out today. Also support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, the Mike Widener Show. You can also buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com at the Mike Widener U. And also, also uh, go to Glow FM. You can also uh, check our shows and support us today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who's an actor, comedian, performer from Greece, and co-worked with the biggest festivals here on the Mike Widener Show. And you also study acting at Stellar Adler Academy in Los Angeles. Tell us about the journey going from Greece to Los Angeles and what inspired you to go to a Stellar Adler Academy. Um, the journey was uh, kind of easy, as I thought in the beginning. Um, but uh, the struggles uh, keep coming. Um, I paid for the official translation of my documents in order to be accepted at the school. Uh, but they did a mistake at the translation. Oh! <laughs> instead, <laughs> instead of writing that I graduated from school, they wrote that I was dismissed from school. Oh, oh that's a good comedy skit right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks to uh, Yorgos Karamichos, uh, who is a very famous actor here in Greece, uh, and is also teaching Greek theater at Stal Adler. Uh, he confirmed that it was just a mistake. And so uh, I was finally accepted uh, to the school. But uh, I forgot another struggle. Mm. Um, the first time that they told me that, okay, you can audition for the school. They told me that I need to prepare one monologue. And so I prepared the one monologue. Uh, one day before the audition, they sent me an email and they tell me, are you ready for the audition? I say, yes, uh, as we scheduled tomorrow. Uh, okay, I uh, hope everything finds you well. Uh, we, ho we hope that you've prepared the two monologues. And I say, two monologues? You told me one monologue. And they were like, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that you've got to prepare two contrasting monologues. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. <laughs> and of, course you like, gotta, of course, you got to think on your feet too. That's the thing, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I was like, okay, we've got to prepare another monologue in less than a day. Easy, easy one. And with, uh, I worked 15 hours and I've got to prepare the monologue in uh, 20 hours. So I got no sleep. <laughs> did, 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 did my two jobs. Uh, and as soon as I finished, I went home and rehearsed the second monologue. Uh... Thank God everything went well. I did the audition, did the two monologues, and they told me that uh, if I get accepted, they'll inform me in uh, two weeks. Nice. Five days later, I get the uh, I get a message on WhatsApp, and they tell me that you know you got accepted. Amazing! Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Mm. And, and of course, uh, when it, when you first came to LA, what was your first impression? You know, especially uh, comparing to your um living life in Greece. What was your first impression of LA? LA? Um, I haven't been able to be there uh, due to COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, began, I began the Stellar Academy classes uh, last year. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole situation was uh, seriously on air. 
uh, the classes were supposed to begin on uh, 3 February, yeah, but they just uh, postponed it. They said we'll begin the 14th of February. Then, then they just said that there won't be any classes. And then they said that the classes will be held online from the 3rd of March. Wow. Yeah, so you realize uh, the whole situation with COVID was not so good. Mm -hmm. And all these uh, online classes lasted until the uh, uh, September, early September. Hmm. That's rather interesting, too. And during that time, you also did some stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, New York City, Las Vegas. You performed with um, that fan who also played a Hawaii Five-0 and the winner of the NBC's Last Comic Standing. Um, you know, tell us some of the stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, New York, and uh, Las Vegas. And uh, tell us, how did you uh, get with uh, that, that fan? Um, everything began from a uh, show talent talent show. Uh, I performed there. Uh, and from that time, I met another comedian. Uh, I think her name is Christine. Yeah. Uh, and she told me that uh, your set was very good. Uh, I'd like to get to know you better and uh, see you perform. Hmm. I was like, yeah, it's okay. Uh, and then came uh, the next, yeah, the next month. Uh, she sent me an email and she, tell, and she told me that there's one more uh, show, talent, talent show happening. So we'll perform at this one again. I was like, okay. Uh, I performed and she sent me uh, a message on Instagram. And she told me that, uh, you know, I have a performance on Zoom uh, with that fan. I was like, Wait, the the that fan? <laughs> <laughs> and I checked, and uh, she sent she sent me uh, his Instagram and his uh, WhatsApp number. So I have talked to him, and he was like, uh, "Yeah, I really like you. Uh, you can perform at my show." Hmm. Uh, yeah, the first uh, day I had uh, five minutes, I think. And the second day, uh, I was like, okay, maybe he told me because he was just polite. You know, I don't know how things work uh, right there. And uh, the next day, I get a message from him. He t he And he says, uh, we've got another show tomorrow. Nice. Perform again. Hmm. Whoa. And then I said, something's doing <laughs> very good here. <laughs> I was really glad that he wanted to perform. And so I asked him straight, so you liked my set? Yes, I, I really liked it. And I think that the crowd liked it too. Wow, that's and really... At the, that's and at the second show, uh, after my set, we did like a uh, conversation, stand-up comedy, you know, the two of us. Mm -hmm. It's like going back and forth, back and forth, you know, that that's, um, you know, how, how you do it too, like Dean and Jerry and uh, Mel and um, Carl and everything. And uh, also too, uh, what was it like working with uh, that fan? Um, at the first show, I've got, I was really nervous because I know uh, what she's done. I mean, this guy won the NBC last comic standing. <laughs> Uh, he's been at the Hawaii Five O. He's also right now. I'm think that he's got another movie, Shattered, mm -hmm. with lots of famous actors too. I can't remember their names, but if you check out the movie Shattered, that's gone. Uh, that aired uh, this year. You'll see. Okay. Uh, at the first show, I was very nervous, but then you know, uh, the second one, I was very very calm because he told me all these good words hmm that's very nice coming from a great guy like that fan and uh, you also been extreme improv and the revenge and the uh, extreme well talk about that what's coming up for stavros patras in just one minute you listen to the mike whitener show at the mike whitener show.com powered by soundcraft studios visit online at soundcraft studios.com for all your needs 
Also brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Wagner Show, interactual warring author, Mia Molson's You Have Missing, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. We'll be back with the amazing actor, comedian, performer from Greece, Stavros Batras, after this time. Out. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to The Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back with the amazing, multi-talented Stavros Patras here on The Mike Wagner Show, actor, comedian, performer from Greece, who co-worked with a number of uh, the big festivals, did stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, New York, and Las Vegas, and perform with Daft Fam. You also been Extreme Improv, the Revenge version, and Extreme Improv, the Extreme. So uh, tell us about those appearances. Um, those appearances were uh, in a UK show in England. So uh, it was also uh, an improv show. So doing improv is some ways easier and some ways more difficult. I mean, you don't have to prepare something. But on the other way, you don't know who are all these guys, what they have in their minds, what are you supposed to say. Uh, and you're meeting a bunch of people that you know nothing about. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, really nice. Uh, although I had... Uh, some trouble at the first one with my internet connection <laughs> uh, but everything went well uh, all the UK guys at the first show um, because it was about finding some uh, words in English uh, I was at the time where me or another guy would pass uh, they passed me they said you're good, the audience, uh, because they realize that I'm Greek. I don't know the dictionary and all the words uh, in English. Mm -hmm. uh, and then at the next round, uh, it was me and another guy. It, it went uh, really, it was a very, very tough one. Mm. And then the last two seconds, there came one from the audience and didn't vote me, vote the other guy. And I was disqualified, but it's okay. I but, gained the experience. But of course, yeah, a lot of fun too. And how, how's the um, how, how are the talent shows in the UK compared to those in America and Greece and um, other other parts? Um, both three, uh, all three of them are extreme. Uh, you know, it's a whole different thing doing startup comedy in Greece, in UK, and in the US. Um, doing comedy in US and in England, um, you can say something more, you know, spicy, a spicy joke. Um, in, in here UK? in Greece, yeah, in UK too, in UK too. Uh, but here in Greece, it's like uh, people want to get offended by comedy. You know, you it's a bit, a little bit, you know, harder to make a joke here mm. in Greece because, yeah, the world. And, and I think that's a problem all around the world. People want to get offended. I don't know why that's happening, but okay. 
Mm -hmm. I, I think that's how it back how it is back in the day too. Let's turn back the time with Mel Brooks that he one time said it's okay to um to make fun of somebody as long as you're able to take it. I mean, you're supposed to offend somebody, and of course, I he had a saying too that it also makes a person feel better and everything else. And of course, since we're on the subject of um you know comedy in Greece, maybe you can just uh, fire off a joke or two in in Greek. Um. <laughs> Go for it. Um, I, want, first, I, want, I want to hear your own native tongue. It's like, I w we would love it. <laughs> uh, think of a joke. Uh, Not the first donuts in Greece. Don't tell that one. <laughs> <laughs> Something about gyros. <laughs> Oh yes, I'm hungry for one. So yeah, just um, you know, you know, throw a joke or two in your native tongue. We love to hear it. You caught me off guard. I really, <laughs> I really, yeah. In Simon Cow would have booted you out that way if you said that. Simon Cow would have tossed you off stage. You said that. Come on, come on, come on. It's just like we're we're just putting you to test here. So. <laughs> Or you know, maybe another uh, time, but if you want to do if you want to do a, do a joke in Greek, go right ahead. So, <laughs> um, doing you know talking in English the last two and a half maybe years uh, made me you know forget my Greek jokes and accept the fact that uh, I've been talking in English. Uh, I've uh, also been talking German because uh, oh. my cousins live in Sweden mm. and they know a bit of German. Mm. And I've been also taking Spanish and uh, Russian uh, as languages. So what? I can speak four Why? languages. Wow, you're going multilingual. Um, maybe just uh, utter a few words or a phrase in uh, German, Spanish and uh, Russia for us. We'd love to hear it. Um, we'll say, what's your name in English? Pos Selene mm -hmm. in Greek. Como te llamas? Spanish. Wie uh, heißt du? German. Как вас зовут? Russian. Wow. Very interesting. And uh, how about where is the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? Where is the bathroom? Uh, yeah. Uh, in uh, Greek, it's puine to baño. Um, in German, it's wo bist uh, das WC, I think. Uh, in Spanish, uh, in Spanish, I can't remember. <laughs> and also in Russian, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's okay. How about how about one more? How about one more in um, all the languages you're learning? How about I like a beer. I like a beer. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I think that it's going to be beer in Russian. Yeah, mm -hmm. you beer. Ich will ein Bier trinken in German. I want Ooh, to drink a beer. That's a good one. Ich will ein Bier trinken. Yeah. Bira in Greek. And I want a beer. Huh. That's rather interesting. And uh, we, we, you sound like a really good potential for being uh, multilingual and uh, being international as well, too. And um, where can we find all your works at? And um, where, where can we uh, find you, Stavros? Um, they can find me on my Instagram profile. It's I am Stavrakis. Um, and also my IMDb page. That's Stavros uh, Batras. Okay. All right. Well, certainly check those out. We're here with uh, actor, comedian, performer from Greece, um, Stavros Patros here on the Mike Wagner Show. Stavros, just a few more things. Uh, we'd love to have you back on as well. And um, what else can we expect from you in 2022 and beyond, Stavros? Um, if the pandemic is over, um, I've got a bunch of projects uh, coming. Um, I've been talking and I've been uh, in some business with Marco Robinson. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a UK producer and he has uh, been in the executive, I think, producer on the movie Legacy of Lies that's been uh, on the hashtag two of the Netflix in USA. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah. We're certainly looking forward to it. And who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? 
Um, I think that the most influence has been from Sir Marco and from uh, Forbes Riley, if you know her. Mm -hmm. Yes. Part of the yeah. book. Yeah. Forbes Riley. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's both, I both consider them my friends and they're really good at their jobs. That's so amazing. Forbes Riley is one of the best too. And uh, what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Sorry? What's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Always to follow their dreams and honestly don't care about what all the other people say. Mm -hmm. And that's a very good point as well. Once again, actor, comedian, performer from Greece, Stavros Batros here on the Mike Weiner Show. Stavros, a great thank you for your time. You've been very amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We'd love to have you back as soon as you get some more experience under your belt and shows and more. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, and uh, where can people um, simply uh, check out your works at? They can check me on my Instagram page. I am Savrakis. They can also see my works at the IMDb uh, Stavros Batras. Um, the upcoming project that is on also on my social media is the movie Demons Within. Uh, the director is uh, J.F. Davis. The producer is uh, Michael. Mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, about the other projects, I can't say exactly the names but it's with sir mark robinson okay we certainly will do so once again staffers a very very thank you for your time you've been absolutely fantastic looking forward to having you soon make sure you keep this up today keep in touch we'd love to have you back we wish you all the best and you've got a great future ahead of you the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios if you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs call 1-800-303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is extraordinary relation of ordinary people based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.